What is up guys, welcome back to another Fallout video on Tame, bringing the top 3 most useful glitches in Fallout 4, so if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe, let's get right into it. Alright guys, in number 3 spell we have placing unlimited items in your base even after the size is maxed out, so as you can see here I cannot place any more things in my base, so whenever that happens, just go to your pit boy and go over to your inventory. Once you're there, just go through all the stuff that you don't really need that's like really heavy, so I recommend like mods and like weapons and armor that's really heavy, like really heavy stuff like that. So once you've dropped all the stuff on the ground that you want to drop, just go back into your workshop mode and then store all the stuff in your workshop. Now, do not delete this because it also won't work and plus you lose your whatever you put on the ground, so just store all this stuff to the workshop and as you can see, the size bar on your base is getting smaller and smaller. So now you can see that I can place more things in my base, so let's move right into the number two spot. Alright guys, this is a duplication glitch, so what you want to do is empty out anything you have in your workbench. This is a required step, but it just makes it a lot faster, so choose the item you want to, and I chose wood for mine, so once you've chose whatever you're using, just drop it on the floor. And then once you drop it on the floor, go into your workshop mode and press square X and circle super super fast. It's a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you can basically do it every single time. And then once you've done that, you'll notice your wood is still on the ground and it's asking if you want to store it in the workshop. So press yes and then go out of your workshop mode. And then when you look at your workshop, it should be in there and doubled. Now you can do this as many times as you want to, just whenever you put it back down the ground, there's going to be two, so just scrap both of them and then just go back and you'll still have the same amount. Alright guys, this final glitch is by far the best one in the entire game, so just start out with having a few hundred bottle caps to start out with, and then basically what you're going to be doing is buying and scrapping all the stores, so use the same button combination that we use on PS4, which is square, X, and circle, to uh, scrap it and uh, sell it. So it's going to be thinking that you're selling it and uh, scrapping it at the same time, so you're going to be scrapping it and you get to keep the money, so... Just keep doing this for however long you want to, and then once you have reached your desired amount, just go over to your workshop and then take the money out from it. Now, sometimes it'll glitch out and say, like, you have 100,000 bottle caps and it'll only give you, like, 30,000. That's because they're just too much, so... So if your number gets really high, it'll start glitching out, so don't go too high. Alright guys, that's pretty much for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, I can make more of these. They're really fun to make, and, uh... Yeah, so tell me in the comments what you thought of it, and, uh, I will see you in the next one. I can't find the time, you can't find the time, maybe we should quit joking, uh I can't stay the same, I can't play a game, I am fresh in the tokens, uh I will follow you to hell and back, but lately I don't know where you're going, uh It's a different direction, uh I am sick of finessing, uh Just to get some love